the Wailing Wall that many of y'all are very familiar with. But take a listen to this. I captured this, what was happening, and we'll I'll be back. There's no way somebody could have been named Jesus 2,000 years ago because the J was not introduced into the English language until the 13th century. There was no Jerusalem, it was Yerushalayim. There was no Jericho, it was Jericho. You there gotta get there true. No okay, so what I'm saying is what's gonna unite us is true. I am a Hebrew. Abraham was not a Christian, he was not a Roman, he was not a Jew. The first Jew was Jew. That's what I'm talking about. I belong to the Hebrew and the light community of Jerusalem. Wait a minute, let me give you something so that you can get it, keep in contact. We got to keep in contact with one another. Because, see, we need a new idea. We need a new language. We need a new lifestyle in order to replace what is being destroyed in front of our eyes. It's called the uh, Hebrew Israelite community of Jerusalem. But we have a few families in Jerusalem, but basically we live in Devona, Jerry, Devona, Miss uh, Ramon, Arad, and Siberia. Okay, this is my card. Let's stay in contact. So, if you want to make a small donation, who do you make a small donation? You can go here. No, go to Kingdom of Yah. Kingdom of Yah. Right there. Okay. Can you write that down? I can remember. I got it. Oh, here's Dave. I got it. Yeah. Uh, uh, As <laughs> speak the truth. Should you be want to give? She want to donate. H -E this is the truth. T uh, you. you Agudashi to P. You after the U is what? Yeah. P I. No way. She to P. Okay. F E E. Okay, good. Kepar ha shalom. Kepar ha shalom. Okay. And then you have to sign it on the back. No, it's not. It's just on the back. Oh, right there. Right there. So you have right there, right? Okay. You're not, you're yes. Okay. Yeah. How, about, how about this? I'll give you a better idea. Give yourself one on your phone. $3,600. Give me, give me a... Give that to her. Uh, if you have an issue, you can call me at this. Ooh, good. To understand the power that we possess, man. You have to act like you got power. Now here's a man who don't know me from nowhere, but because of how I dress, he wants to know where you from. You witness him. Now you know what he just donated? How much? 3,600 shekels. Wait a minute. That 3,600 shekels or that 3,600 dollars? Look at that again. Come on, come on, secretary. Look at that. Okay, I can do it. <laughs> well, I got the number as a backup just in case. Yeah. What is that? That's $3,600. $3,600. Look, let me tell you something. Now you talk about ego. I keep telling you this is y'all go. Wherever I go, that's where y'all gonna be. Well, that's why I'm with you, right? That means that's where we're I don't even know the man. And the man that came and donated $3,600. But he knew your spirit and he knew the truth when he How did he engage you? How did it all begin? Oh, it all began by asking me, where am I from? Oh, Who do I represent? Okay. 
And I'm telling saints all over the world, if we stand up and do what God has given us to do, everything that we need is coming to us. I told you that the most important resource is people. All we got to do is get the people, and we will have everything that they own. I don't want nothing that they own. But in order to do the work I got to do, I can't worry about how I'm going to pay an electric bill or rent. I can't worry about that. And I'm telling you, God is taking it off for me because he knows what I'm ready to do now. That's everything and anything at the same time. Hallelujah. Where are we going? Where are we going, teacher? When you teach a people the truth, those will listen. When you bring the truth, those who have an ear will hear. This is evident of who are those Hebrew Israelites who are the truth. You got a Christian quarter, a median quarter, a Christian, this was the African quarter. So the African people that used to live in this third way were all removed. Did you hear what I said? This is the original face of the Holy Land. Someone that have always been present in North East Africa. All right. Why is she here? How did she get here? You have to come and visit her. And you have to come and ask her questions. And you have to become to familiarize yourself with your people that's in the Holy Land. Thank you. My brother is saying, what year? I would say that when the state of Israel was established in 1948, this is when they began to have the sovereign rights to make those type of decisions to remove populations from one area in the land to another. Okay? So this became what? A portion of the Jewish is uh, iconizing and it is putting an indelible memory in the minds of the people that the Jews have had a connection here for over 2,000 years because this is where the temple was established by Solomon. Now, what we must understand that beyond that wall, we have Mount Moriah. Now, do you know what Mount Moriah means? Mount Moriah means Yah is my teacher. Yah is my teacher. Which meaning that if Yah is your teacher, you have to get the true facts about what has developed the different geopolitical and geo-religious interests in this particular time. You can't understand what has happened in today's reality or understanding that you know you have to understand the historical elements that took place. So when we go on top beyond this wall, we go to Mount Moriah. Mount Moriah is where the Muslims say Prophet Muhammad came here and he ascended on a white steed. They also believe that where the temple used to stand is the source of the four rivers. Move out the way, show. Don't, don't go stand there because you're going to be moved every time somebody opens that door. Okay, oh. What we must understand is that they believe that the four rivers of the Garden of Eden flowed from this area. Okay, and there was four rivers in the Garden of Eden. It was the Gikon, the Pishon, the Euphrates, and what? The Tigris. All right, and we know by studying ancient history that between two rivers, there was always a civilization thriving. Why? Because that civilization used the waterways as commercial routes, for trading routes. All right? And then you could get from one land to another by what? By ship. Because they didn't have planes in those days. And if you didn't go by a camel, camel caravan, you didn't get too many places when you were in Northeast Africa. Okay? So what we're saying is this. Mount Moriah is the third holiest shrine in 
the Islamic belief. All right? And so the third holiest shrine in the Islamic belief and the first shrine for the Judaic belief. And the Christians also embrace this area. Why? Because this is where they said Abraham was going to sacrifice who? Isaac. Okay, Abraham was going to sacrifice Isaac, but you remember the story. He was stopped from sacrificing his son because the creator was testing Abraham's commitment to his instructions. All right? Here's a son that you've been promising a uh, legacy. Here's a son that you promised a legacy, and now the creator said, kill him. Now, you know that day that Abraham left the house, he did not tell Sarah where he was going. Talk to me, King James. He, he couldn't have done that. Right. His son kept asking where the sacrifice. And I don't know how that conversation came about. I'm not going to even try to imagine it. But son, uh -huh, the Lord will provide. Uh -huh. Did he say that? So what we say, we see this is how Abraham became the friend of the creator because a friend of the creator, a friend you have to be able to trust. So that was a test for Abraham to determine how much the creator could trust him to follow his instructions. So today we see a side for the male and a side for the women because according to Jewish tradition, men and women cannot pray together in the same area. So today, they have a side for men and side for women. Some Jews feel that you cannot turn your back to that wall until you go 20 steps back. Then you can turn your back. The Ten Commandments. Thou shall have no other God before me. I am the God that delivered you from the bondage of Egypt. And you shall not make any graven image. Huh? That's in the heavens, that's below the heavens, that's on the earth. For I am El Kana. I'm a jealous God. So we're not denigrating nobody's belief. But as Hebrews, we are not going to bow to a wall that was built by men. The true temple is the soul temple. My body is a temple. And what is supposed to dwell in this temple is the spirit of truth, which is what? The Holy Spirit. I'm not making the Holy Spirit something hocus postic, ho you know, ho hocus pocus and something mystic. When we talk about the Holy Spirit, we're talking about the spirit of truth. And if you don't have the spirit of truth in this temple, you can't understand a true sacrifice. Because a true sacrifice is that you sacrifice your ignorant habits in order to be what? To, try to demonstrate your what? Your commitment and your dedication. It ain't about what's coming out your mouth. It's about how you think and how you talk and how you live and how you eat. The whole, your whole lifestyle is worship. There's no such a thing as a day of worship. It is six days thou shalt worship. Because remember, I shared with you when I did the African Identity Heritage Museum. When it says Sheikh Shabim Tavo, that means that your work is your worship. You cannot differentiate and separate what you do every day to worship. Your culture is your worship. So I know what you're worshiping by just looking at what you're eating, huh? how you develop relationships with your wife, with your children, with your friends, even with your enemies. Because if we're supposed to be a light unto the nations, surely we have to welcome everybody into our environment and pray that we can influence them to try some of the things that we have learned. 